Yeah, that's right, Toya. And this is a big bus to fill, and there's a lot of room to fill up with school supplies. In fact, a nice lady just dropped off a whole bag of notebooks here, three ring binders. We'll put this in the seat. Uh, GE Healthcare employees dropped off 150 of these backpacks. And if you look inside, this is a good indication, a good idea of what we are looking for. So if you have any of these following items or you want to buy them, I'll list off a few of them. A book bag, a backpack, uh, again, pencils, washable glue sticks. Uh, you want crayons, colored pencils, number two pencils, erasers, spiral notebooks, folders, highlighters, washable markers, flash drives, graph paper, and also calculators. That's what they are looking for. So you can come down here till 7 o'clock. And WIS and 12's Tim Ponton was here when it all kicked off this morning. Usually you see a bus like this full of students. The goal is to fill it now with school supplies. Along with the Salvation Army and Lakeside Buses of Wisconsin, we are hoping to fill this entire bus with school supplies for underprivileged children. And along with filling it with those school supplies that you can just buy on your own, you can also make a cash donation. It's so important to make sure that children in our community are best prepared to go back to school. Uh, we serve 2,600 lunches throughout the summer every day to uh, children all over Milwaukee with our Feed the Kids program, and this is just a great step to help them now be successful in school. It's always just good to help out, and we don't have a lot, but we're able to share, and so that felt good. And that donation goes here to the Salvation Army inside those familiar red kettles. The Salvation Army will then take that money and buy those much-needed school supplies. At Walgreens in Wauwatosa, I'm Tama Ponton, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Tama. We are at Mayfair and North. This is the Walgreens. You can buy the school supplies right there, drop them off. Here's a cart full of supplies that I have, and I'm going to load onto the bus. We got uh, some pencils here and a whole lot of other stuff. So we have bags full of stuff that we're going to be bringing into the bus over the next couple of minutes. We will be here until 7 o'clock this evening, so if you are at home eating dinner right now, Toya, you have plenty of time to come down here, buy supplies, and load up this school bus.